Okay, so this is my quad order second uh, assignment solution for quad order kinematics and dynamics. So first thing you have to do is and go and run the parameter file. This is where you define your parameters. And these are the quad rotor initial uh, inertial parameters, quad rotor mass. This file will be given to you. This is where you initialize your quad rotor 12 states. I'm starting all of them with zero. So go ahead and run this. Once you run it, uh, you can open. And that's my so all you have to do is add this s function here to the existing you know, quad rotor drawing and then you can define change those sliders to three forces in x y and z direction and three torques uh, along for phi theta and psi okay so let's uh, go ahead and run it so if everything is right if all your equations are right then basically when all your forces and torques are zero the quadrotor should do nothing it should basically set that's it's a uh, newton's law right so let's see what happens when we start so when i increase let's say we will play with your uh, provide some uh, force in x direction so we'll see that it will start moving in x direction i can go back and change a little bit to minus so it will start coming back and remember even if i do it to zero it, it will not stop because there is no drag or nothing to stop it if you have to stop it you have to basically again make it positive to go front so again it will decelerate and then start accelerating okay so that's for x direction i'll restart it so because so that it initializes back same thing will happen in my f if i also put so it will start moving in 90 degree so maybe we'll start with zero here otherwise it always starts okay so let's make it zero as well and then restart it so that's so if i want to move in y direction that's my east direction come back in east direction Okay, so that's even if I make it zero, it will keep going because that was the force. There is no force to stop it. So let's see what happens. V direction. Start it first. So let's rotates on because there is no cross coupling it will keep rotating in x direction so even if you make it zero it will keep rotating so to make it stop we'll just stop it theta or theta so if we do that pitch up and keep we can bring it back So it will start rotating in opposite direction now. So that's that. Let's see. Start it again. Uh, to check our. Heading this time, so it's a negative row. This time a little bit positive again. So it will start back. 
even if you make it zero it will keep rotating so that's it i think if everything is right this is what you should expect so thank you